All right, Nick, let's talk about the USC Trojans. Spring game has come on and went. We saw a lot of great play out on the field from a lot of players at the Trojans. And I think there's something very interesting that happened that I think is going to be big for the Trojans going forward. We know Miller Moss is going to work himself into being the starting quarterback for this team. But there's something different between him and Caleb Williams. And that is Miller Moss really is more of a stay in the pocket, you know, make the plays down the field type of guy, not a scramble around athletic type of guy like Caleb Williams. So he needs some targets. He needs somebody who he can throw to. And we're waiting to see someone emerge and become that guy. I think we found just the person in Jacoby Lane. He really came out and showed himself in the spring game. Let's get into the article and we can talk more about it on the other side. This is from USA Today. It says, of all the Trojans who participated in spring practices, receiver Jacoby Lane stood out in the eyes of many teammates and coaches. USC linebacker Easton, I'm going to butcher this one, but Mascaneris Arnold, who is likely to be a starter on the Trojans' defense in 2024, identified Lane as the MVP of spring camp. Lane's emergence is critical for a number of obvious reasons. One is Miller Moss needs all the help he can get this season. He's not a Caleb Williams Superman-style quarterback who can make all sorts of improvisational, improvisational plays. Moss needs to make plays from structure with teammates getting open for him. Sounds like Lane could be just that guy, Nick. I'm curious what your thoughts on Lane are, but... Trojans fans, in the comment section below, of all of the players who have started to emerge from this spring period, spring ball, spring training camp, you know, the spring game as well, who do you think surprised you the most? There's been a lot of turnover on this roster. I think there's a lot of guys that were able to come up and show themselves through the rank, but who surprised you the most? Who was the, the most eye-popping player it came out to you during the spring session. Let us know in the comment section below. But Nick, what are your thoughts on Lane for the Trojan? So his performance, Lane's performance specifically during spring ball for USC and the comments from his teammates calling the MVP, one word came to mind, validation. And the validation of what we saw from USC against Louisville, their final game, of course, the bowl game, where Jacoby Lane caught three passes uh, for 60 yards and two scores. And he looked like the next great potential big play receiving threat to play for USC. The one question though was, was it a flash in the pan, right? Did he have just one great game? Maybe he had a great matchup, things like that. Those things can happen. Of course, receivers, running backs, tight ends, they can be in a favorable matchup in a situation, have a breakout game, but it really doesn't sustain itself. I was going to have my eye on Jacoby Lane and hear what people said about him anyway, with Miller Moss playing better and better, better. That definitely made me pay attention to Lane more. And I think it's a great sign that he's off to such a strong start as he evolves from just a young freshman into a true veteran receiver on this football team. And the fact that his teammates think so highly of him and the fact he's producing at such a high level during spring ball is a great sign for USC because it validates what we saw in the bowl game. Because what we saw from the quarterback, Miller Moss, made a lot of people go, whoa, they got another great one at Southern Cal right now. And I think what we're seeing is some camaraderie building, some chemistry building, a new era of USC football starting to tee up. And as great as Caleb Williams was, and he was fantastic, the reality was he was a transfer. It did feel, everyone kind of knew, right, he was only going to be there for two years before going to the National Football League. So it did feel a little, it was felt like a short-term rental. I don't know if that's the right way to describe it, but it didn't feel 100% okay. This is the USC, the next great USC quarterback, the next great USC team. It felt like a bridge guy to say it like that. But Miller Moss is the future. I think that's been proven over the past few months. I think Jacoby Lane is right there with him, validating his performance in the bowl game with his job, with the job he's done over spring practice, impressing his teammates, impressing his coaching staff. I tell you what, right now, we're finally starting to see, in my opinion, what Lincoln Riley really envisioned this USC program becoming. They're getting younger. They're fixing a lot of issues on defense. I think there's going to be some hiccups for USC, new conference, a lot of young players. But I tell you what, USC fans, you're going to slowly start seeing over the regular season and in years to come what Lincoln Riley is trying to build with the Trojans. I think it has a chance to be something really special. Yeah, and I I think just this is coming at the right time for the Trojans because as we see their move into the Big Ten, as we see the schedule pop up for the Trojans, I think they need to start this season off with a bang. And they have the perfect opportunity against a team in LSU. It's a team that everybody knows is a powerhouse. Everyone has talked about how good LSU is. 
but it's a team who's kind of lacking in secondary. They kind of gotten shredded at times by good passing offenses. And with the emergence of Miller Moss and a guy like Lane, I think that Southern Cal get out to a strong start and cement their season early on. So I really think this is just right place, right time kind of stuff for the Trojans. And as Trojans fans, I think people should be really excited about what this could do for them going down the stretch because it's going to be a much tougher schedule this season than it was last season. I think Southern Cal, you know, they played some big games last year, but none of them are going to compare to the kind of games that they're going to get in the Big Ten and starting out with a strong SEC opponent at that as the first game. So I think this building of momentum early on can help them win the first tough game early on and kind of help this team on down the stretch next year. Data brokers sell your information to scammers, spammers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, email, home address, health records, even your relatives. It's all out there. That's why we use Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows us which data brokers are selling our information and automatically submits opt-out requests for us. Cleaning up our information not only reduces the amount of that stupid spam we all get, but it also protects us from hackers who could use this information to help them access our social media accounts, bank accounts, and other sensitive information. Aura also does much more to protect us and our families from online threats. We also get features like antivirus protection, VPNs, password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance, and more without having to download several different apps. That's really key. One location, get all this great stuff. It's really easy to set up. And the best of all, we get everything at one affordable price. You may already have one or two of these tools already, but not having Aura is like locking the front door and leaving the back door wide open. Aura is always on doing the hard work of keeping us safe so you can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. We value our privacy and we also value yours. So go to Aura.com slash SMI College to start your two-week free trial. Again, linked in the description below. Go to Aura.com slash SMI College to start your two-week free trial today.